Welcome to the JMAC Robinson College of Business at Georgia State University. We are thrilled you have joined us for our accounting programs webinar this afternoon. My name is Allison Jacobs and I am the Associate Director of Graduate Admissions. My team and I will spend the next 45 minutes with you discussing the Robinson College of Business, are the accounting programs at the Robinson College of Business, and the admissions process. We are happy to uh, field any of your questions during the webinar, so feel free to type your question into the chat box and someone will respond to you either during the webinar or at the end of the webinar. Before I get started though, I would like to introduce our team of admissions professionals and students that will be delivering the webinar this afternoon. As I mentioned, my name is Allison Jacobs and I work in graduate admissions with students um, from outside of the Atlanta area. My colleague, Nicole Westfall, is also on this webinar. She will be communicating with you during the application process. We also have two of our current students in the accounting programs, Molin Wang and David Bram here to share their experiences. While David will not be on the audio portion of the webinar, he will be available through the chat. So please feel free to direct your questions directly to him. So now I would like to tell you a bit about the Robinson College of Business. We are currently celebrating our 100th anniversary this year and have a rich history and tradition. Of great importance to you is our contemporary curriculum that is keeping with the needs of today's highly competitive global business environment. We are proud to offer graduate and undergraduate programs that are among the finest in the nation. Our part-time MBA program is ranked um, one of the best by Bloomberg Business Week and US News and World Report, and the Financial Times ranks our eMBA program among the world's premier programs. Our computer information system department and our risk management department are also ranked according to US News and World Report. The success of our college is due to several factors. Our faculty members are among the best in the world. They are experts in their respective fields, consult with businesses worldwide, and are often quoted in the media. As the fifth largest business school in the United States with approximately 200 full-time faculty, faculty members, we are able to offer a wide variety of graduate and undergraduate courses, yet at the same time keep your class size very small. Our talented student body is one of the most diverse in the United States, hailing from more than 88 countries. In addition, our location in the heart of Atlanta's vibrant downtown business district makes us minutes away from many of the nation's top companies, including the big four accounting firms, Coca-Cola Company, Turner Broadcasting, Georgia Pacific, UPS, SunTrust Banks, and the Home Depot. Our 80,000 and growing alumni base holds positions in the best company in the world. Your network will expand exponentially once you become a member of the Robinson College of Business family. I will now turn things over to Nicole to discuss a little bit more about the Robinson College of Business and Atlanta as a city to live in. So if our credentials didn't give you enough incentive, let me delve a little bit deeper into some of the great benefits that Robinson offers. First, one of the best things about Robinson, as Allison mentioned, is the location and association with our large alumni network. We are located in downtown Atlanta near many Fortune 500 companies, all of which have alumni from Robinson. This allows for great career coaching and networking opportunities for you throughout your program. We also have a very diverse student population, which Mullen will speak a little bit more about later in the presentation. Another great thing about RCB is the opportunity to get involved in, in giving back. For example, some of our accounting students have raised over $90,000 to send 20 Kenyan women to college. Um, something that we're really proud of. So let me talk a little bit about Atlanta, Georgia. So for some of you who may not know this, Atlanta is located on the east coast of the United States, just north of Florida. We're the ninth largest city and one of the most affordable in comparison to the large cities in the U.S. Um, we have great w weather year round and great transportation system, including interstates, highways, our subway system, which is called the MARTA, and it takes you right to your classes and even extends all the way down to the airport. And as Allison mentioned earlier, we're third in the nation for the Fortune 500 company headquarters, CNN, UPS, Coke, Home Depot. Now just to talk a little bit about the cost of living in, on campus and off campus in Atlanta. 
Um, as you can see, um, apartments typically run anywhere from $400 to $1,000 a month, depending whether or not you want to live in the city or in the suburbs. Utilities are usually about $100 a month. And then also we have some really great on-campus options. Um, you can see there we have lofts, private two bedrooms, shared apartments with a meal plan at some really great prices. So that's just something to keep in mind if you are relocating to the Atlanta area. Next, I wanna to talk to you a little bit about our office. Um, we are the Office of Graduate Recruiting and Student Services, and we are here to help you through your admissions process, your enrollment process, and then from there, once you have enrolled, helping you through your advisement and picking your classes. We're here to answer any questions that you have through anything with our um, application system, enrollment. So please feel free to ask us at any point. We also have a great career management center, which includes individual career counseling, resume, resume reviews, workshops, panel discussions. And one of the really great things, as I mentioned earlier, is the executive career coaching that we offer. Because we are located within walking distance of so many great companies, and with alumni from Robinson, we are able to match you with those exact top level executives to get some career coaching and mentoring experience throughout your program. We also offer the Robinson Career Connection, which is where you can find jobs and internships specifically targeted towards you as a student at Robinson. Now, Allison will talk a little bit about our program. So before I delve into our programs, I would just like to briefly review the CPA eligibility requirements in Georgia. It is usually in our experience that most people are coming to us not only to pursue their graduate studies in accounting, but also to meet those CPA eligibility requirements. So many of you may know this, but I would just like to briefly highlight them right now. To become a CPA in Georgia, you must meet three standards. The first is educational requirements. Within the educational requirements, you will need 150 total credit hours. 30 of those credit hours needs to be upper level accounting hours, which means it needs to be above your principles one and principal two courses. In addition to this, you need 24 general business hours. As I describe each program, I will let you know how those programs will allow you to meet these requirements. So please keep these in the back of your mind. In addition to the educational requirements, you just have to pass this very small exam called the CPA exam. Um, and I say that very facetiously because it is probably one of the most difficult exams you will encounter in your life. Um, however, you will find that with many of our programs, you will be prepared for the exam based on the subject matter you are learning in your classes. And finally, once you complete your educational requirements and pass the CPA exam, you also need to work for one year um, and that would be working under a licensed CPA. That can take the form of public accounting. It can also be in corporate accounting as long as your boss or your boss's boss is a CPA. And then the requirements for government and nonprofit are a bit more relaxed. And that's something you would work with the Georgia Board of CPAs in determining. So I would now like to delve into our accounting programs that are going to help you reach your goal of becoming a CPA. As we mentioned, we are one of the largest business schools in the U.S., and what that enables us to, to do is offer a variety of programs that are going to fit with your career goal. So all of you on this webinar today have accounting in the back of your mind, but these programs can help you achieve your specific goal within the profession of accounting. So first, we have our Flexible Masters of Professional Accountancy. This program is designed for that person who already has an undergraduate degree in accounting. This is often viewed as the fifth year for the accounting major to meet their CPA requirements. It is be called the flexible MBA, MPA because it is delivered in a flexible format, which means that you can complete this degree at your leisure. It can be completed in one year, should that be your goal, or if you're working full time, you may want to take a bit longer to complete the requirements of this degree. So it's flexible in that you can choose the length of program and you can choose which courses you are taking each semester. It is a 30 credit hour program with 10 courses in accounting, all of which will be applied to that 30 credit hour accounting requirement and the 150 total general requirement. This location of our flexible MPA program is at our downtown campus, which is in the heart of downtown Atlanta. 
The classes meet Monday through Thursday from 4.30 to 7 or 7.15 to 9.45. And again, you determine what your schedule is each semester. So you have the flexibility to put that together. I would now like to turn things over to Molin Wang, who is currently a student in our flexible MPA program, and he can give you a little insight as to why he chose Robinson to pursue his degree. Thank you, Allison. Um, the flexible MPA here at Georgia State is great. I have the flexibility to schedule my own classes and take them in the semester that fits my schedule. Um, I especially enjoy the later class time because it allows me to hold an internship while going to school. Uh, I also enjoy all the supports from the career center and the faculties here. They provide great, great coaching opportunities and insights for all the students. Another reason that I chose Robinson is the return on investment. This program offers great curriculum that will prepare you well in the public accounting field with an affordable, affordable tuition. At the same time, there are many uh, graduate assistant positions available for all the students. Thank you, Molin. And I would just briefly like to give you a, a, a snapshot of the courses that we do offer in this program. So as you can see, you can also study for the CPA exam while completing this program, as many of the courses will provide content directly related to those exam topics. Okay, so now I would like to move on to our second program within the School of Accountancy, which is the one-year MPA program. I would like to just say up front that this is different from our flexible MPA in that this program is designed for the student who did not have an undergraduate degree in accounting. It is a one-year format that is very structured, <clears throat> that is completed in three semesters. It is a 30 credit hour curriculum that will get you to those CPA requirements especially for the non-accounting major because you will have met the 150 and all 30 hours will apply to the 30 um, credit hour requirement and upper level accounting courses. Unlike the flexible MPA program, this program is delivered in a cohort, which means that you will start with a group of people and you will take all your classes with that same group and the entire class will graduate at the same time. You will not have choice in choosing your classes as the curriculum will be laid out for you and you will automatically be registered for your classes each semester. So what is the profile of this candidate? Again, I wanna stress that it is for a student that does not have a degree in accounting. We say undergraduate business degree, that is preferred, but it is not required. We do have students going through this program that do not have an undergraduate business degree. I would like to point out that if you do not have an undergraduate business degree and want to do this program, that is okay. However, you have to remember the 24 hour of general business coursework that is required from the CPA um, board in Georgia. You will have to get these hours outside of this program. We do require that you have taken both principles of accounting one and principles of accounting two before starting this program. So please keep that in mind as well. This program is very demanding. The courses are delivered very rapidly. So we wanna make sure that you are able to handle this demanding course load. Again, unlike the MPA program, we are offering this program in the Buckhead Center. For those of you unfamiliar with Atlanta, Buckhead is about five miles from downtown and is also a business district as well as a shopping district. The classes are actually in an office building that has covered parking, which will be included in the price of your tuition, which we will discuss a bit later. The classes meet every other, I'm sorry, every Tuesday and Thursday evening from 5.30 to 9.45. So you can work while doing this program, um, but just keep in mind that it is a very demanding program. And why would you choose this? Well, there is no other program in the country that would allow you to meet those 30 credit hours of, re, of upper level accounting courses and attain your master of accountancy within a one year time frame. So now I would just quickly like to show you the courses that you would be taking over the 12 months. Um, just to quickly let you know, financial accounting one and two are equivalent to what we would call intermediate accounting one, two, and three. As you can see from this program um, curriculum, it is very um, 
financial accounting focused. However, please note that you will have two classes in tax as well. I would now like to move on to our Masters of Taxation program. Please note that David Bram, who is on this webinar in the chat capacity, is a student in the Master of Taxation and can answer any specific questions that you have regarding this, grant, this program from a student point of view. The Master of Taxation program is a one-year format or a two-year format. So it's really up to you to determine how quickly you would like to complete this program. David is actually doing this in the two year format. It is a 30 credit hour curriculum. And again, it's in a cohort so that you will get to know your classmates very well. For this program, we ask that you have an undergraduate accounting de degree from an accredited university and have taken accounting one and two as well as an undergraduate level tax course. We have many attorneys that actually pursue this degree and the only prerequisites for them is that they do get the principles of accounting one, two, and that tax course in prior to starting the program. This is a very demanding program. It is very research intensive. It's very writing intensive. So we do want to make sure you will be able to handle that demanding course load. This program is also delivered in our Buckhead Center, and courses are so you can take classes either at 4.30 or 7.15. Um, so really, we often get the question, why the Master of Taxation? Well, first of all, what we say is you really have to be committed to a career in tax in order to pursue this degree. So as you're writing your essays, make sure that you do indicate that level of commitment as you, you address the questions in those essays. But really, the other thing is that we are the only Master of Taxation program in Georgia and one of few in the Southeast. What this means for you is that you are very much in demand by the accounting firms in the area. Many accounting firms have made it a requirement that their new hires have a master of tax. And if we're the only program offering it in Georgia, you can imagine the amount of opportunity available to you should you decide to pursue this program. So again, um, as you can expect, um, the courses in this program are very tax intensive. So this is a sampling of the courses available to you. And really the curriculum is designed to give you the expertise that you need to go out there and advise clients in tax matters. So you will absolutely come away from this program with a level of knowledge that very few people in the state will have. At this point, I would like to discuss our final program and our newest program in the School of Accountancy, and that is our Master's in Information Systems Audit and Control. This program is designed for the person that not only really has an interest in accounting, but also has a strong interest in IT. This program will prepare you to become an IT auditor, um, which is a very in-demand profession right now. So again, this is offered in a one-year format. It is a 30 credit hour program that not only will allow you to meet the CPA requirements should your undergraduate degree be in accounting, it also will provide you with one year of work experience towards the Certified Information Systems Auditor designation, which I will discuss a bit, a bit in, a, in a few moments. So the candidate profile for this course is that you have an undergraduate degree and again have taken um, accounting one and two. That is a mistake on the slide. You do not need an undergraduate level tax course for this program. It is just accounting one and two. And of course that you do have a proven ability to handle a demanding course load. The program is offered in our Buckhead Center on Mondays and Wednesdays from 530 to 945. So why would you want to do this degree? Well, one, I believe there are only three other similar degrees to this in the country as we speak now. We are working very closely with ISACA in this program. They have already approved our program, which is why they are giving one year of work experience towards the CSA designation. 
and they have a very tight partnership with us. So every student entering this program will receive a free membership to the Atlanta ISACA chapter and you will immediately begin networking with um, information systems auditors to further your career in that field. So I would like to give you a bit of um, information about the coursework in this program. Again, you can see we shift away from the financial accounting topics. We shift away from tax. And what we're really focused on is giving you the information to audit technology systems. So many of the courses are out of our ranked CIS program, and then some of the courses are out of our accounting program. So many of you may say, well, who hires from this program? And I can tell you that not only the big four accounting firms are very interested in hiring students from this program, but also corporations from around the country contact us regularly to recruit students from this program. It is a very much in-demand profession right now. So if you are looking to make yourself as marketable as possible, this is certainly a degree you should consider. So now I would like to turn things back over to Molin, who will talk to you a little bit about student life within the School of Accountancy and also the many clubs that we offer. Uh, we have a variety of student organizations here at Robinson that will help students to succeed in their fields. Those organizations hold regular meetings throughout the year to promote professional development, mentoring opportunities, as well as recruiting events. It is certainly a great way for students to get involved and meet professionals and network in their field of study. And it's also a great way to reach out to find new career opportunities. Uh, just to highlight a few chapters here at Georgia State, first we have uh, Beta Alpha Psi, which is an honorary accounting fraternity, and we also have Alpha, which stands for Association of Latino Professionals in Finance and Accounting, and we also have NABA, which stands for National Association of Black Accountants, and we have Ascent, which is an accounting uh, and finance student organization for Asian students, as well as uh, Institute of in Internal Auditors and ISACA, which is, uh, stands for the Information System Audit and Control Association. Uh, for MTech students, we also have the Tau Alpha Chi, which, uh, which is the honor fraternity for um, the tax professionals here in the country. Um, so as you can see, uh, Robinson has strong ties with many reputable in international firms, such as the big four, uh, we have Ernst Young, PwC, Deloitte, KPMG. They all actively recruit here on campus. We also have uh, those super regional firms and national firms such as Grant Thornton, McLeary, BDO. And we also have a lot of smaller regional firms that are based in Atlanta area such as um, the CBH and Freezer and Dieters. And we also have a, a variety of corporations and like companies from the industry to, that, that recruits here such as uh, Coca-Cola, Georgia Pacific, ADP, as well as government agencies such as IRS. Now I will start to talk a little bit about the admissions process. So hopefully by now you're thinking, how do I apply to these programs? Well, let me tell you about the application process. So there are a couple components that you need to, to get, do to start the admissions process. First, you will need to start an application online. You can find the application on our website. Um, just by going to robinson.gsu.edu. And after you start your application, you will need to submit either your GMAT or GRE scores. Um, we will also be needing your past academic work, and this includes your transcripts from all of the previous undergraduate work that you have done. Um, we also will need a, a submission of your resume and job experience and any letters of recommendation. We typically accept up to three letters of re recommendation, and for our specialized master's programs, we need at least one. As you are going through the process, please make sure to ask any questions that you have. We will be here to answer your questions. Next, let's talk a little bit about our averages. So please keep in mind as I'm going through these that these are our averages for the entire College of Business in the graduate program. So, for certain programs, it may be a little bit higher or a little bit lower, but please keep that in mind as we're going through. So our GMAT average is about a 612, with our GRE score about 306. 
Typically for our accounting programs, we typically look for a quantitative score of a little bit higher than our average. So please keep that in mind as you're taking your tests. Our GPA is typically about a 3.43. And for these programs, work experience is not required, but typically our average is about four years. Next, for international applicants, um, we require that international applicants go through a couple more steps. Part of this includes taking the TOEFL or the IELTS, exam. This means that you will need to try to get a score of at least a 101. Um, and there are some exceptions, including U.S. naturalized citizens and or getting receiving a degree from an accredited U.S. institution. Um, we also sometimes, but very rarely, require that you get your academic credentials evaluated by one of our educational evaluators. So just keep that in mind, but we really recommend that you submit your transcripts and we will let you know if you if we need you to get them evaluated by one of these companies. Additionally, after you've been accepted, we will need to have financial documents on your financial resources that you will use during your graduate experience. So here are our application deadlines. Um, I'm not gonna go through all of them, but as you can see there, we do keep in mind that we do have separate um, deadlines for international and domestic students. So uh, to talk about tuition and fees. So for our Georgia residents, for our FLEX program, this includes our FLEX MPA and also the MTAX program, uh, I'm sorry, just the FLEX MPA program. Um, as you can see, the estimated total cost with the fees includes $21,104. Please keep in mind that for the MPA program, it's a little bit of more affordable for those that are in state. Now, if you're looking at the other programs, keep in mind that for out-of-state, it's about $45,000. And then for the one-year programs, it's about $38,000, which includes, um, this is an all-inclusive cost that includes iPad, textbooks, orientation, parking, meal, snacks. Um, and that's for the um, one-year MPA, MTAX, and MSIS AC programs. We, there is also a couple additional fees that may apply. Um, Obviously, you will have the $50 application fee and the program deposit that is about $250. And this is to secure your seat within the program. Talking about financing your graduate degree. So there is first you can talk about corporate sponsorship. Please keep in mind that this is for you, those of you who may currently have jobs and are looking to finance your graduate degree through your company. Um, Make sure to ask your managers about this as if it's an option for you. As far as scholarships, the Robinson College of Business offers plenty of scholarships. And if you would like to learn more, please go to our website. <clears throat> we also offer graduate research assistant positions. These often include full or half-time tuition waivers and a monthly stipend. We offer merit-based and <clears throat> ones that you can apply for. Please feel free to ask questions about this after you've been accepted to the program. We also offer educational loans that you can apply for if you are within the United States. This concludes our webinar, and if you have any additional questions, please feel free to reach out to any of us. We're happy to answer your questions. And from here, we'd like to open it up to questions in the chat. If you have any, please feel free to type it in, and we will answer them. And I would just like to say in conclusion, um, my previous position prior to the, um, the one I am in now, I was working as Director of Student Services for the School of Accountancy. And I was able to witness firsthand um, just A, what quality students we have in all of these master's programs, and B, the demand for these students. I would work with the big four and regional CPA firms literally on a daily basis to help them find students to work in their firms. These firms will attend every one of those club meetings that we previously mentioned before. They are that committed to the Robinson College of Business School of Accountancy programs. So I can't emphasize enough um, that if you are either changing your career into accounting or getting that fifth year to meet your CPA requirements, the Robinson College of Business is truly an excellent place for you to do so. 
You will not only meet tons of great colleagues through your classmates, you will be exposed to many opportunities within the accounting industry. So please, um, let's continue the conversation after the webinar. You have our email addresses and we're happy to answer any questions you have. I would still like to give everyone some opportunity to ask some questions while we are all available. And please also keep in mind that David from our MTAX program is also available through the chat and is posting some additional um, information